among this generation that they fought for to be put to shame. You will not allow our enemies to triumph over us. For no one hopes in you and ever come out in shame. But shame shall encompass all of them who are treacherous. Shame shall be the portion of all the saboteurs, both dead and living. Shame shall become and will be the portion of those that persecute your children. You will show us your way, for we are nothing without thee. You will teach us your path. You will guide us in your truth. You will teach us O Elohim because you are Chukokika Biyama, our Savior and our Redeemer, and our hope is in you and you alone. Every day, every morning, every night, we ceaselessly call upon your holy name that you may have mercy upon us, that your love and your grace may abide within us. Do not remember the sins of our youth. Do not remember the sins of our fathers and our ancestors. Do not count our rebellious ways against us. According to your love, O Elohim, please have mercy upon us and give us Biafra in our time. For we are upright in thy word. For we are guided by the instructions you have laid down in your commandments that sin may not have any hold over us. Come and guide us in your humble way and teach us to be that which you have destined us to become for we have no other god apart from thee we have no other creator apart from thee for the sake of your name not for anything that we may have done not for any righteousness that we may have possessed elohim forgive us our iniquity and have mercy upon us grant us biafra in our time that your name may be exalted that your name may be praised that your name o elohim may be lifted up above every other name now and forevermore we pray he say he say he say mama drege chineke welcome my amazing viewers thank you so much for joining me on my program once again i appreciate you wherever you're connecting from if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you be notified each time i upload a video you will be among the first to receive it thank you so much i remember this today once again i come in peace to bring you information on things that are happening and trying to dialogue with you and reason with you how to move forward and the step best for us a lot is happening in the construction call nigeria as you all know we are all in occupation. The full allegiance that we are occupying Nigeria by all means possible through the help of the British colonial. The British, our British colonial master, have handed us over the full allegiance that we and since then they have made life miserable for every indigenous tribe in Nigeria. Every indigenous tribe in Nigeria is not finding it easy. They are not finding it funny. It doesn't matter your tribe, it doesn't matter your religion. Everybody is in a big mess in Nigeria. Everybody is suffering and crying. There is no way out, nobody to help, nobody to listen to them. The people you are crying at to help you are the people who are subjugated and you are making sure that you don't survive. So, do we continue to cry to them? No, we have to fight out our freedom. We have to fight by ourselves. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. We will stand strong. Continue to pray to Chukul Biyama, just as much as Nani Kano has started us. Pray to Chukul Biyama. He only can give us Biafra. He only can give us Ududua. He only can give us freedom in that contraption called Nigeria. He only can set free all the indigenous tribe in that contraption called Nigeria. That is why we have to pray harder. Not just praying. As we pray, we walk. As we pray, we continue to walk. You can see that the full allegiance we had put in so, so many equipment on the ground to make sure that they subjugate us. The equipment they have put on the ground are the political elites. The political elites are all together and they are all fighting for one thing. They are all fighting for the full annexation of that very country called Nigeria. Every single politician in Nigeria, it doesn't matter if the politician is Igbo, is Hausa or Yoruba, the only politician I can be able to vie for is Abaribe because he speaks out and we can hear him openly, his own opinion and where he stands. He doesn't miss what. Any other politician apart from him, they are all playing the same game. They are all playing the same script, making sure 
that the indigenous tribe in Nigeria is being subjugated and being the lands being taken away. That is their plan. That is why you see them each time they come out, they tell lies. They tell lies against the people. They tell lies on what is happening. They will never say the truth. They will never speak the truth. They come out and the country continues to celebrate evil. They celebrate evil men. Instead of promoting those who are good, they continue to promote evil. Continue to celebrate the evil men. That is why you see some of them who are even pastors. Those who call themselves elites, they cannot speak today because all of them have a stain in their palm. They cannot speak. Every one of them who have been shouted during the time of Jonathan, who has been speaking up, coming out to protest and say all manner of things during the time of Jonathan, they were so bold to go to the street and protest and block the street. They protested as many times as possible. But since Buhari came in power, since the Fulanis have taken over everywhere, have you seen any one of them protesting? They have suddenly become cold. They have suddenly become cold. Instead, they are all complicit. These were the people that brought this very monster to come and govern Nigeria. They were people that brought this very monster. Instead of them to be fighting hard to take him away, they are not fighting. When we had somebody from the southern part of Nigeria, Jonathan, who wasn't better, he wasn't better, but he was 100, 1 million times better than Buhari, and they knew it then. They knew then that Jonathan was better than Buhari. But because of their selfish interest, you see, they came out together, protested against Jonathan, and took him out. Not just because Jonathan was incompetent, but because Jonathan was the southern part of Nigeria. They don't want him to be there. You can see the Northerners talking about it. Talking about Jonathan. They would, that Jonathan was not even supposed to run. That's what they are saying. That he was not even supposed to run for election. Simply because he's from the south. That it was their turn. Talking about turn. They are not talking about capacity. Not talking about intelligence. They are just talking about turn and turn and turn. That was why they protected Jonathan. But if, unfortunately, they used the Southerners. It was our own brothers, Southerners, that was used against Jonathan. I don't like Jonathan. Jonathan did nothing for the Igbo, did nothing for the Jaws. He did nothing for the Southern part of Nigeria. That was not I'm not supporting him. But for the fact that you people came together to frustrate him out of power. And if you dig deep, you will find out that the failure of Jonathan was because of this, uh, the, the sabotage of the North. And those whom they used to sabotage Jonathan from all angles, no matter how he tried, they sabotage him. You can see Again. whether they remove the subsidy or not, we will still be in problem. If they remove subsidy, they will share the money. Yeah. They have already shared it before collecting it. They say for over 400 billion will go to Jonathan's government, over 400 billion will go to state government. Over 200 billion we go to local government. They have already spent the money before they earn it. They are just fooling Kolade to come and supervise an empty collection. No force on earth can stop this revolution. Yes. The fact that I am here today with my children, with all these wonderful Nigerians, send the message to Abuja and wherever they are. That the struggles for which we have been planning and working all these years have now taken off. Governor of the Central Bank, Samisi, came to Lagos and said, if you don't remove fuel subsidy, Nigeria will collapse. This country is not going to collapse. Those who are going to collapse are those who are cheating the Nigerian people. When my father was fighting, I was 13 years old. I am 50 in six months. My son is 16. We still have no electricity. We still have no health care. People are poor. People are dying because of 10,000 naira in this country. And people are stealing the greatest Nigeria. For several hours, the speeches went on. Democracy is government of the people, for the people, by the people. Who are the people of Nigeria? If we have democracy, you must listen to the voice of the people. The government of our country has decided to impoverish us. We have decided to say no. The pump price of petroleum must revert to 65 naira. And if anyone was thinking this was just a one-off, the protesters had this to say about that. By tomorrow, 
when everybody's coming out, please co do come with your mats. Come with your mats, come with your food. We shall sleep on the streets. If this you can agree with me that people who we are in Jonathan's government then, we are the best hand. That is why today, almost all of them are in key posts in the world. Not just in Nigeria, because Nigeria rejected them. They are now doing exploits in the world. To tell you that these people we are being sabotaged by Nigeria itself. More especially somebody like the Minister of Finance, Ngozi Okonjiwa. There were a lot of beautiful hands who were doing their best to make sure that that country survives. To make sure that Nigeria takes its position as the giant they are supposed to be. But they were being sabotaged and make sure they didn't succeed. You can see the protests. It was all Southerners in the protest speaking out. How many Northerners did you see there? It was all Southerners speaking up against Jonathan. But today, what do we see? They have gone cold. Suddenly, they lost their voice. Instead, you still see them coming out to promote the evil men. They are now talking about the election. Promoting evil. Somebody is coming to promote IBB's opinion. Calling IBB as one of those who being brought unity in the, in the in Contraption Corner, Nigeria. IBB that annulled June 12th. The first and the only credible election that have been conducted in Nigeria. He annulled June 12th. And in the process, Abiola died. He created the most hatred we can think of. The division we are talking about started from IDB, IBB. But somebody is calling IBB as somebody who brought unity. Promoting him on his bad day. People are hailing him. That is the kind of country you have as Nigeria. And we cannot be part of it. The new generation of the indigenous people of Nigeria cannot be part of it. If any other tribe will be part of it, the Ududu ones and the Biafrans will never be part of it. We cannot be part of it. Let them go to hell with whatever they want to do and continue to promote their mediocrity. A country that does not promote something good, they will always promote evil. They pro if you are not evil, if you are not an evil man, you cannot succeed in Nigeria. Look at the Abakiyane. Now the Northern, Northern people have come together to bring lawyers to protect their, their, their criminal. They don't want Abakiyane to be extradited. They are bringing lawyers from Okana to defend Abakiyane, a criminal. A criminal who was named Super Cop. This is what the, the, the government and the political elite have been using him to kill innocent people for a long time until now the lock uh, caught him. Thank God it, it was it, it was being indicted by US, not in Nigeria. Because if you have been in Nigeria, nothing will happen to him. They are now protecting him by all means possible. Look at the Buhari who is your president. Buhari is a criminal. Go and read the history of Buhari. Buhari has not offered anything good to Nigeria. He has always been stealing, taking, 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 stealing from Nigeria. Yet they bent him, Mr. Integrity, and you all bought, up, bought into it. They have started again as they are preparing for their election, which will never hold. They have started preparing other criminals. <laughs>
bless be all for all. We have emerged triumphant from all our foes. Through the crucible unscathed, we passed victorious. Our trumpets pealing the glorious song. Play it, sing it, all hail be all for all. All hail be all for all. We shall always remember all that perished in the struggle for our freedom. All hail our heroes, our prayer shall be known both day and night. Thank you.